Hello, I'm Ms. Wofford, and I'm a math coach and a math interventionist at Lincoln Heights Elementary School. I'm glad you're joining me today. I'm looking for those kindergartners out there. Can you wave hi, kindergartners? All you need to participate today is you. So thank you for being here. We're going to start with our learning target for today. Our learning target for today is I can tell how many dots I see and describe how I see them. As mathematicians, it's very important for us to be able to visualize numbers. Visualize means to make a picture in our brain. When I say a number to you like three, I want you to be able to picture how many three is. Maybe you thought of this, three. We're gonna be working with dots today. Here's my first card. How many dots do you see? See one dot? One. How many dots do you see now? Two. I bet you can guess what the next card is going to be. Go ahead and guess. How many dots do you think will be on the next card? We had one, two, what will be next? Let's see if you're right. Three. This is three dots. There's different ways for me to see the three dots. Maybe I just see three all together, or maybe I see one plus two more. One plus two makes three. Or maybe I see the two on the outside and then the one in the middle. There's lots of different ways to see the three. And as mathematicians, we want to be flexible and see more than one way. What number do you think's next? There's four. You might be thinking that you've seen these dots before, and I bet you have. These dots are the dots that can be found on a die. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, got to move it so you can see. <laughs> a die. So you might find these dots on a die when you play a board game. Or you might find them on a domino, if you've ever played dominoes. What number were we on? Were we on four? We were on four. All right. Four. Then we would have five. Can you notice five. Some people can see the four dots in the four corners and then one dot in the middle. Other people look at this five and they see an X. How do you see it? We're at five. What number will be next? Six. Lots of different ways to see six. Some people see the six as two plus two more plus two more. Some people see three and three more. Some people see the four corners and two more. Lots of different ways to see six. What do you think the next number will be? Tell someone in your home what you think the next number will be. Let's see if you're right. How many dots do you see? I bet a lot of you thought I was going to show you a card with seven dots. But this is a really important card because it represents a really important number. What number does it represent? How many dots do you see? Are some of you saying, Miss Wofford, I don't see any dots at all. That's true. There's no dots on this card. So what number is that? That number is zero. So there are zero dots on this card. That was our warm up and we're going to get to our activity. Our activity today is called Quick Dots, and I'll explain what Quick Dots are in a moment, but I just want to remind us of our learning target. Our learning target today is I can tell how many dots I see and describe how I see them. This is how Quick Dots work. I'm going to show you the cards that we just uh, looked at earlier. I'm going to show you those same cards. 
but this time they're not going to be in order. They're going to all be out of order. They're going to be mixed up. And I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to flash them to you. To flash you the cards means to show them to you very, very quickly. I'm going to show them to you quickly, and you're going to say how many dots you see. If you're playing, if you're the only kid and you're playing by yourself at your home, then you can just shout out at the screen how many dots you see. But if there's more than one kid playing, let's go ahead and make turns. So what you should do is when you know how many dots you see, put your thumb up, wait for the other person to be ready, and then tell each other, take turns telling each other how many dots you see. All right, get ready. We're going to get started. First card up. How many dots did you see? Let's check. Did you say two? Next card. What did you see? Let's check. Did you say four? What did you see? Let's check. Three. Tell someone in your home how many dots you saw. Let's check. It's five. Were you right? How many dots did you see? It was zero, wasn't it? How many dots did you see? Let's check. Get ready. How many dots did you see? Let's check. Get ready. How many dots did you see? Let's check. That was our first round of quick dots. And I'm gonna remind you that the first part of our target was I can tell how many dots I see. You did that in the, that last part, but there's another part to our target. I can tell how many dots I see and describe how I see them. These next dots are not gonna look like the dots that we would see on a die. They're gonna look a little bit different. Get ready. How many dots did you see? How did you see them? How would you describe them? Tell someone in your home how many dots you saw and what it looked like to you. Let's check. There were four dots. There were these three dots, these three green dots and then one orange in the corner. Maybe you saw the three dots together. Maybe you thought it looked a little bit like a triangle. Maybe you thought it was in the middle and then maybe you saw that one dot in the corner. Maybe you saw the three first and then one more. Or maybe you saw the one orange and then the three green. As mathematicians, we can see numbers differently. Get ready for the next card. How many did you see? Describe to me how you saw it. Let's check. One dot here, one dot there. One and one makes two. Get ready for the next card. How many did you see? How did you see it? 
Let's check. Five. Two orange in the corner, two orange up here, and one in the middle. Maybe you saw the two orange and the two orange and thought that was four, and then there was one more. Or maybe you saw it differently. Maybe you saw those three together and then two more, three and two. As I said before, mathematicians need to think flexibly about number, and there's more than one way to see something. Get ready for the next card. What did you see? How did you see it? Let's check. Four. Two in the middle, and one in this lower corner, and one in the top corner. Or maybe you saw those orange ones first, and you saw those two, and then the two in the middle. Two and two make four. Again, these dots are a little bit different than the dots we had earlier when we played quick dots. Those other dots were the dots that we would find on dice or dominoes. These dots are in different shapes and different patterns. Get ready. How many dots did you see? Tell me how you saw them. Let's check. Three. Maybe you saw all three as a group, or maybe you saw two and one more. Three. Get ready for the next card. How many did you see? Tell someone in your home how you saw the dog. Let's check. Three orange, two green. Three and two make five. Maybe you saw the orange first, or maybe you saw the green first. Either way, three and two make five, or two and three make five. But maybe you didn't see it as two and three. Maybe you saw it as four and one more. As mathematicians, we want to be able to look at number and see things differently and be flexible with our thinking. Lots of times in math, there's more than one way to see something. Get ready. How many dots did you see? Now tell me how you saw the dots. Let's check. Six. Three and three make six. Get ready. How many dots did you see? How do you know? Let's check. There were zero dots, weren't there? We have to know zero is a number, and it's an important number. We have to be able to picture even zero in our head. How many dots did you see? Tell someone in your home how you saw the dots. Do you know what colors they were? Let's check. Two green, two orange. Two and two makes four. Get ready. What did you see? Tell me how you saw that. Let's check. Whoa, lots of different ways to see that. Maybe you saw the two green in the, kind of in the corners and then the three orange running through the middle. Two and three make five. Or maybe 
you've thought of it as two there, two there, and then one more. Maybe you saw these three making a triangle and then two more. Lots of different ways, five dots, but lots of different ways to see those five dots. Get ready. What did you see? How did you see it? Let's check. Three. We've been playing quick dots. There's a couple different ways for you to play quick dots at home with your family. You could make cards. If you go ahead and if you make cards, you can make them out of one color, like we had, or you can make them out of two colors, like our second set. The other thing that's cool about if you make cards is I was showing you the cards this way today, but I could take the same set of cards and I could turn them and then they would look like a different shape. So if you make cards with your family to play quick dots, don't forget to every once in a while turn them or rotate them. Another good way to make quick dots if you don't have cards like I do, uh, sometimes if you can have paper plates, paper plates work really well as too. And then you can flash them and then you can turn them. If you don't have any cards or paper plates or anything to make dots with, that's okay. There's another way to play quick dots. You can take a die and you can roll it and then cover it really quick and tell everybody what you think you saw. Then you can uncover and check to see if you were right. Dots and numbers are everywhere. As mathematicians, we wanna be able to visualize these numbers. Visualize is a fancy word for picture. We wanna be able to picture these numbers in our head. We're gonna try this one last thing before we go. I want you to close your eyes. Go ahead and close your eyes. I'm gonna say a number and I want you to picture that many dots in your head. Close your eyes and picture three. Can you see it? Excellent. This time I want you to picture five. Do you see the five? All right, last one. Picture four. Excellent. We are using dots. It's really important to play board games and to see numbers in lots of different ways. Thank you so much for playing with me today. Mm -hmm.